Hello, it's Caribbean E, and welcome to the channel. We trust that everybody's having a wonderful day and that you guys are in the best of health. And today's inspirational message, talking about prayer. The prayer of a righteous man availeth much, but you got to start with prayer, such as a praying man, Daniel. And his story again is in Daniel 7, 6, 6 chapter 7 through 28 verse. And Daniel prayed, and in prayer, got him into the lion's den. Now, I'm, I'm thinking for, for the most part, the devil is always after your prayer life. Because if he can get your prayer life, he got you. And you can tell a lot of people now are operating out of their minds, out of scripture, out of character, without sound doctrine, because they don't pray. If you don't spend time with God and let God spend time with you, you're going to be in big trouble. And when you get to your lion's den, the lion's going to eat you alive. So God is trying to speak to you through this video, through this word, to get yourself on your knees. And if something wrong with your knees, you can't pray, then lay across the bed. But get in your prayer closet and pray and talk to God. So when things begin to appear and happen, you don't have to be coulda, shoulda, woulda. So then you're praying, man. And because he kept praying, he found himself in a tough situation. Scriptures of prayer that I love prayer. I love even thinking about prayer because it's communication between you and God. And you have not because you ask not. Job 22 and 27 says, For thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Praise God, worship him, respect him, admonish him, and he shall bring things that you're asking for to pass. Psalm 34 and 15 says, The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Look at this. His eyes are upon the righteous, the righteous people. The ones that got pure hearts. I ain't talking about the narcissists and those crazy people that's cold-blooded on the inside. Rootless, heartless. Now we're talking about those that have a pure heart because less are the pure heart, but they shall see God. And God knows everybody's heart. You can talk all you want, you can scream all you want. He knows your heart. So the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open until they cry. I love this. Because if you have the right perspective and the right spirit, you're in the right frame of mind, you talk to God, and God will hear your prayers. That is a breakthrough right there within itself. When you go into a storm, you need scriptures that's going to help you to pray, to get through that stuff that you're dealing with, because for the most part, prayer is, is, is key, and it's going to help you to get through what you're going through. Such was Daniel in the dead. Psalm 34 and 7 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of of your heart we delight it in everything else other than in the Lord and that's why things are going crazy and your home is falling apart and your marriage is having issues and then everything else is happening everything is happening because we're not delightful in God and what he can do for us we come to him all sanctimonious we sad we said, ah, he ain't gonna never hear my prayers and then if you have that kind of attitude then you know you gotta deal with what you gotta face because whether you pray or not, you still gonna have to deal with some stuff. So be delighted. God wants to see that you're excited about talking to him. Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you for putting shoes on my feet. I thank you for putting a roof over my head. I thank you for having open the refrigerator up and there's food in there. Lord, I thank you, oh God, that I'm not homeless. I thank you that I got a wash and dry. I ain't got to carry a, a, a duffel bag full of clothes to the laundry man. I've got so much to thank God for. And that's why I'm delighting myself in him. Because in him, we live and move and have our being. God, I thank you. I'm not rich, but I got money in the bank. I got good transportation outside. God, I thank you. When I hit the electrical switch, the lights come on. When I turn the water on, there's water comes out. When I turn the heater on, the heat comes out. When I turn the air on. Listen, God, I thank you. And it's a Thanksgiving spirit. You don't have to wait till November. You can praise him right there. Don't wait till the battle's over. You can shout right now because in the end, you're going to win. 
If your children is going, having problems, and you taking you through problems, delight yourself in the Lord. If you're having problems at your work, delight yourself in the Lord. If you're having health issues, delight yourself in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Mm, I feel like I already, I already preached the message already. Uh, Psalms 55 and 17 says, Evening and morning, and at noon will I pray, and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Listen, if you have this kind of job and you just go to your car and pray at lunchtime, listen, you ain't got to be screaming and howling. You, listen, you got to be having a long 30 minute prayer, but you go to your car and you pray and you talk to God. Give him homage, give him praise, give him glory. Tell him you love him, tell him you appreciate him, because he's the one that got you on the job, and he's going to help you to keep you in that job. So you pray and you, you thank him. And then when you pray at lunchtime, now you got you got some power to go back to work. So you pray in the morning before you left the house. You got to do that. You know, I'll never walk out my house without prayer first because I don't know what I'm going to have to face. The lions and tigers will be eating me alive. You better pray first. Pray in the morning. Pray at lunch. And then you pray at night on the evening. Read your subscriptions before you go to bed. And guess what? You have a balanced prayer life. One for the Father in the morning. One for lunch. The Son. And one for the Holy Spirit at night. You can't go wrong with that. So Psalms 56 and 9. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies, listen at this, then shall my enemies turn back. They got to back up off away from you. For this I know, for God is for me. Daniel knew when he got out of that den, he knew that God was for him. Okay? Uh, your faith will be trusted. Your faith will be tried in the fire. Your prayer life will be tried in the fire. But if you hold on and hold out, you shall come forth as pure gold. So I, I love these scriptures that I'm reading about uh, uh, talking to God. Uh, Jeremiah 29 and 13 says, And you shall seek me and shall find me when you search me with your whole heart. Listen. You got you. You can't be heartless. Your whole heart got to be in this thing. My heart, God, I'm I'm, I'm coming to you right now. Uh, I'm repenting of my sins. I'm going to talk to you. I want you to do some things for God. I need your full attention right now. Be joyful and be heartful, not heartless. God will hear you. The last scripture here: Call upon me, and I will show you. Answer thee, and show you great and mighty works which thou knoweth not. That means that God is going to do some things for you. What scripture was that? That was Jeremiah 30, uh, 33 and 3. He's going to show you great and mighty works. Read it for yourself when you get time. Read it for yourself. And God will show you great and mighty works and acts. When somebody tell you you can't do something, guess what? You can do it. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And if God give me the strength, I can do all things. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you just for a prayer life, a balanced prayer life. We thank you, God, that when we pray, you can hear us. We come with our heart rights. We come repentant with a repentant heart. God, we're facing so many issues. We face so much stuff that's happening. We got things coming at us. We got bills. We got all these things around us. But we pray, God, that you'll give us the strength. Don't move the mountain, Lord. Don't move the lion dens from us or the fiery furnace, but give us the strength and the wisdom to go through it because we know that sooner or later you're going to show up and everything is going to be fine. In Jesus' name, amen. So, in the meantime, we tweet in time, Mars, to remember that life is to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and thumbs up. And leave your comments if you like, and we'll see you on the next video. And may God bless you all. Peace.